Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start out by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, by Kadash. How be the man with Father, meaning he is, he exists, he to be. You know, by Hashem, in the name, how we shine, be the only God's son, meaning he delivers, he saves, man, we're talking about his Holy Spirit. Double honor to the apostle of the great, that great us, and we will be blessed to the elect, man. Back with the GMS Miami brothers, you know, GMS Salt, GMS West Palm, the Spirit Fire, Yahweh, Shai, Shai. And we're going to do a GMS Gems, Lord willing. Basically going into crying aloud, sparing not, man. Now's not the time to be holding our voice, you know. Yes. Now's time to speak up and prophesy the words of Yahweh Shai, day in and day out, no days off. Man. Like you said, because it's going to be a time when the Lord's going to close our mouth. So right now it's time to, to prophesy before things kind of bad. As prophets, we're supposed to say it before. But Heavenly Father's going to have us out here when the things are, are coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? So, like I better said, now's the time to speak. Because now's the time to scream the Yahweh Shai. Right. So this is wrong. This shouldn't be the time where you if you have home in the dark sitting down. No, this is time for you go out and you go out and you yell, man. Yeah, Let man. it be known, man. Cause especially in these times, man. Yeah. You know. So, uh, I'm gonna grab. If nobody got the Ezekiel, I'll grab it. It's Ezekiel nine and verse four. All right. And it says, and the Lord Yahweh said unto me, suck it. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and say, mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, and that mark right there for dumbass, because there is certain dumbasses out here. All right, this isn't the Karagma, all right? This is the uh, Tawa, man, all right? The mark of exemption, okay? And the only individual that's gonna have that mark is the elect, man, all right? And those are the only individuals that's crying, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, as, it, as it says, man, um, you know, that's signing that's crime, man. That's right. You know, the Lord showed that the, the, the attributes of or how, who is the elect? You know, they're going to be signing crime. They're not going to be okay with this right. world. Right. Exactly. All right. Lot. Yeah. Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation. That's right. You know? Yeah. And that's why the first say they shall be able to discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serve the Yahweh's Messiah and him that serve them not. That's right. Malachi uh, 3 and 18. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I got it. Bring it up. Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. He that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. Right. That's the spirit of the apostles telling us to bring it out. We're doing videos, do shows. Why? Because that's the spirit. And that's the spirit. We got to continue to keep blowing their trumpet. All right. Because we have to warn our people. We have a job to do. All right. So we're not going to keep silent. And give him no rest till he establish until he make a make Jerusalem a praise on earth, right? Jerusalem is not a praise on earth. Right. So right now he's still in that time to keep pushing. Continue to sign the Lord. That's right, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I was gonna say this how they want to make the name of Israel and no more remember. Yeah. So how is it a praise on earth if they want to do away with the name of Israel? Exactly. You know? Hey, we gotta we gotta we gotta work with the till till alright. It's time not to be like the Lord tell us, you know, okay, to the master come back. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, that's the other you know, to the master. No, no, okay. John 9 and 4, yeah. I'm just works the works so I'm just of him that sent me while the day, sure the night cometh, but no man can work. Uh -huh. See, so the time's going to come where everybody's going to be able to do the works y'all want to So now's the time to speak up. Now it's time to push forth this truth, man. You know, get our reward outside. The attention will get high work versus winning souls for the kingdom. Like, what can we be doing over the souls? Is anyone listening to what Yeah. Do you have a question, man? What they're saying. Yeah, I was talking. She, okay, yeah. so basically she has a, her question is about street preaching. Right. You know that there's a scripture in the Bible about street preaching, right? Right. And so about how, like, get, therefore they get their reward already by what they're doing. Cause oh, I'm so not saying, okay, I'm okay, not okay, saying okay, y'all. Okay, okay. Matthew 6, you're going into Matthew 6, but that's, that's talking about, right. yeah, exactly, that's, that's talking about praying. praying out in the open. But the Messiah, yes. That's so praying. Which Matthew, is praying? Matthew the 6th chapter, when you go to it, it says, Pray not out in the open so that you can be seen of men. Right. We're, we're, we're not praying out in the open. We're prophesying out in the open. We're proclaiming. We're, we're doing, like the Apostle Paul said, do the work of an evangelist. That's you know, right. An oh. evangelist is a street who's here? Who are we evangelizing to? Did anybody stop? Hold on, hold on. You stop. You, but I don't need to be evangelized to. I'm a Christian. But I you love did the Lord. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody, 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 <laughs> get, somebody get Proverbs, the first chapter. Go to the chief piece of conquerors. And also get Acts, the seventh chapter. Because she says she's a preacher's wife. And what does it say about churches? Right, right. 
Hey, what does it say about a woman preacher? Uh, now, this is our problem. Uh, like, don't go there. Because uh, the, the first person that, 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 that the Lord loved was Mary Magdalene. Oh, and she was a woman. The exactly. first person he appeared to was a woman. Let the brother bring the scripture out. Wisdom cries without. You got an order right now. Proverbs 1 and 20, wisdom cries out. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried to the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long these simple ones will you love simplicity and the scorners will their scorning and fools hate knowledge. So that's the spirit because we're doing the lesson about what? Crying aloud. Ooh, Guess what? That's, that's what we're doing in the spirit. Yep. We're literally fulfilling this prophecy right before our eyes through the spirit of our Yahweh Shemel Right. We're crying aloud. And we're crying aloud. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying what you're doing is wrong. I am just saying, asking you, as to motive. So that's why I ask. Be fair to most high. The most high he required us because to Because there are people who do front on the streets, like in New York. You know, you'll see some people who are out there saying that they're prophesying, but then they argue with people. Okay. And they shouldn't argue. What about You're church? Not the Messiah arguing well, what, about, what about what about church though, man? Oh, well, I agree with you. Church what, ain't what, doing what they need to be doing. Right? Just, that what church is full of So what do you all okay. dealing with the churches? So, so what about um the law? Mm -hmm. Do you eat pork? You can tell. I mean, the Lord says we're free from the law. No, no that's no, not no, true. No, Somebody no, get no. the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter. No, 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 no. Jesus, hold on, let, Jesus hold on. died on the cross. He didn't say that. We are no longer what scripture uh, is in that? prison so, to the law. So what, does that what, mean we what don't verse? keep the law? Just because that we're under grace? Say what are you going to say about your scripture, though. Does that mean we don't keep the law because we're under grace? Matthew. Matthew 5 and 17. Yep. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not to come to destroy, but to fulfill. So when the Lord walked the scene, he fulfilled the law. He was right. perfect. So you that no longer right, have to right. be in no, by the right. law either. No, that's not what it says. That's that's not what right. it says. There's freedom in Christ. There's not anything that you have to be afraid of. You the wear the armor of God and walk in his authority. The there is nothing that I cannot do, that I can do, can't do with the so you're, adding, the you're adding this other word. Right. You're adding on the word, man. The the adding the the word. Word. Look, brothers are bringing out Bible verses. But, but I'm not going to beat anybody up with scripture. I am going to say that the principle of Christ is that there's freedom in His name Christ. is in Christ, first and foremost. And the liberty of the Messiah is that we're under grace. So we don't have to keep the law to the T because now we, we're in the flesh. We're not perfect. So that's right. why the Lord had to die I for agree us. with that. But the thing about it is, yes, we have grace. We have liberty. But the scripture says, use not this liberty as a cloak of yep. maliciousness. Right. Don't use this liberty as occasion to the flesh. So just because we have liberty and grace doesn't mean you sin willfully. It's not a license to sin. So eating pork is sinful? Yes. yes. It's yes. Against the law. Eating yeah. like pork? Did you, you like, like pork? I don't eat a lot of pork because of health reasons, but I'm just saying. But first and foremost, I don't feel like I have to. I'm going to judge somebody for eating. So you follow the most. The Heavenly high, Father right? will. You follow Christ. Yeah, I don't think he's going to. I don't think that's Christ the issue when he's worried about. No. I don't think he's, he's not, worried about whether or not you eat pork. So if I'm following Christ, I think he's like, worried about go your soul. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to follow what he did. He's right. right. worried so about his soul, not pork. If he eat pork, I'm not going to eat pork. Exactly. That's right. That's your choice, and you can do that. But, you but I'm not going to judge somebody else. Matter of fact, read the scripture. Oh, bring Isaiah 66. That's what I got. You got that? Yeah, I was going to have it. Bring that out. I don't have to defend the. the here, listen to the word. It depends itself. You don't want to hear a pen. Let me hear what the Most High got to say. Right. Isaiah 66 and 15. This is Isaiah 66 and 15. It says. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind yep. to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yeah. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord flee with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yep. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst yep. eating swine flesh. flesh. Mm. What's swine? That's poor. Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66 is 17. Old Testament. So, it's not, uh, so uh, do, you, do you know the context of that? And how does the God, Christ's blood cover that in the New Testament? Hey, because go to because the I can Christ bring up Isaiah, I can okay. bring oh, up the Old Testament to, okay. I'm sorry, because he was be teaching law to okay. the people in the Old Testament. Can you let me finish? I'll let you finish. No, no you're not making any sense. First and foremost, you're out of order. I'm right. not out of order. Yes, you are. Right. I rebuke right. you in the name of Jesus. Right. That's not his name. That's the name of Jesus. All right, go up the street. We ain't dealing with this woman no more. We ain't dealing with this woman no more. You got to hear that. You got to hear that. You got to hear that. 
That's not love. Keep my commandments. Bring it up. Keep my commandments. Bring it up. If he loved me, keep my commandments. That's right. All right. People with scripture. That's what the Lord said. It is not what Christ 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 said. Let your women keep silence in the church, for it is not permitted oh, unto hey, them to speak, oh, yeah. but they are commanded unto you to be in the what scripture was during that time. The Gnostics took over the scripture at that time. She said that we're abusing the mother with the scripture. The scripture say how we're supposed to correct our people with the rod. The scripture is known as a rod. And it's also known as a two-edged sword. So yes, we are abusing people with the word. The word is known as a sword. It's a spiritual battle. The most high is going to kill this woman. Right. May how about she not say I destroyed this woman? Shalak Rayum! Shalak Rayum! She's talking about we going to hell. She, she, that, that's the thing. This word is a weapon. That's, that's a spiritual right. war. And she we, got cut. That's, that's why right. she ran up the street. That's right. right. And, and preach, women are too emotional. That's why the Lord ain't really dealing with women. That's you know, right. Seen it when All she right. came up, she was full of shit. She was hey. full of shit. It was all for edification's sake at right, the end of the no, day, true. but as soon as you know she out of order, she got to yeah, go up the street. Said, about women being quiet, she, them horns came, came, came out. That demon came out. Precept, man. This is the Hebrews, the fourth chapter, verse twelve, and it reads: right. "For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, right. and sharper than any two-edged sword, mm. Whoa, piercing man. even the dividing asunder of a soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, man." Right. So this, this scripture is a two-edged sword, man. Right, it's either you gonna get cut or not. You gotta know how to how to how to how to uh, uh, maneuver with this thing, man. You see how that lady turned to a demon, man. Right, she was getting cut. That's right. I got a preacher to back you up. Second Maccabees 15, starting at uh, verse 14. Then Onias answered, saying, "This is the lover of the brethren who prayeth much for the people and for the holy city, to wit, Jeremiah, the prophet of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. Whereupon Jeremiah, is holding forth his right hand, gave to Judas a sword of gold, and in giving it spake thus." Take this holy sword, a gift from Yahweh Shemelshai, with, with the which thou shalt wound the adversaries, man. And that's what we're doing. So we are beating people up with the scriptures, man. You know, we're wounding the adversaries spiritually, man. The weapons of warfare are not carnal. Right. To back you up, yeah, we beat you with the with the scriptures, and only two things gonna happen. You gonna humble the fuck down, mm -hmm. or you gonna you gonna turn the fuck up, man. Right. There's no gray area, man. Yep. Okay. We got beat. We got beat down with the scriptures, uh, man. We got cut. Right. Yep. But guess what? Thwarty y'all about outside. We humble down, and we in the place that we in now, and we doing what what was done to us, uh, man. We acknowledge that we're sick. Yep. And we need an ointment. That's right. right. And what happened, man? That goes back to what we doing this lesson on, man. Crying a lot, sparing our none. Ooh. You know what I mean? She came out with a spare. Yeah. Right. You feel me? Hey, quick read this Romans, the second chapter, verse 11. For there is no respect of person with the most high. The most high don't care if you're a woman, if you're a man, if you're a child, old, young, does not matter, man. Right? If you're going off, you're going to get corrected, man. Basically, she wanted us to be quiet. She wanted us to she turn down our thing. Listen yeah. to her. Quench not the sweet her. Yeah, that's what she was. Basically, she wanted us to, you know. Uh. <laughs> Y'all need to do the will of the most high. Y'all listen to me. Right, right, right. That's why I say, I let you speak, let me speak. That's why I say to not absorb authority yeah, over the yeah, man. That's yeah. what she was trying to do. Because yeah. that's what Babylon promotes. Right, right. I was about to say, from the Babylon promotes that woman being above a man. But in the scriptures, man, there's an order of things, man. Right. Right? You feel me? The man is above the woman, man. Right? right? Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey. You feel me? The, the, the order, Please. you know, the, the, the scriptural Please. order, man, you got. You got Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, you got man, you got woman, then you got the child. You feel me? But in Babylon, they put the woman above all that, man. Jeremiah 31 22, the Lord shall create a new thing. You know, a woman shall come past a man. Right. Key words. Key words. New thing. Yeah, new thing. You know? The Lord's going to humble them. Yep. When Jacob, that's what, really, that's what Jacob's trouble was for, is to humble humble our people. That's right. All hell breaking news that we come in there is to humble these people that's proud. That's right. Hey, the bride shall mourn having no husband. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of these women, they, they men's gonna get knocked off in Jacob's trouble because they man ain't right and they ain't right, man. Yeah. Talking yeah. about she a preacher's wife, man. They ain't right in them damn yeah. churches. Right. That's why she 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 thought she was able to come up right. here and try to teach us something. She's seen that real young she, too. She right. Got one precept. No precept. She's speaking from her own vain opinion, man. I got nothing. That's the vocab Malone effect. Yeah. Come yeah. against the prophets with no scriptures. Right. Hey, quick pre. This is Isaiah 8 and 20 reads to the law and to the testimony. They speak not according to this word is because there is no light in them. She came up speaking out her ass, man. She ain't had one preset. She ain't come with no Bible. Talking bullshit, baby, man. Going off of what Pastor Pork Chop teach on the church, man. And how she can't eat pork, man. She get bent out of shape. Fuck. 
and how she feel. That's what she came up with. What she was telling how she feel. Right. Yeah. Same shit that that Edomite that came up earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. I got to free. This is uh, Jeremiah 48 verse 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, yep. and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Uh, so we're not, supposed, we're not supposed to keep back our sword from blood. This sword is the scriptures, man. So if you need to be cut, if you need to be corrected, guess what? You got to get cut. Huh. Same thing with us. It's a two-edged sword. Yeah, so you, so if you if you don't swing a two-edged sword properly, you can get chopped up too, man. That's right. You know? So you got to be a, a hero of the word and a doer. Huh. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It's not to, a, to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up which that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get. And a time to lose, a time to keep, and a and a time to cast away. This is the point. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to keep silence, and a time to speak. Right now, we are. It's the time to speak, man. Right, All right, that time, the time of silence, that's coming real soon. Because right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will shut his men the fuck up, man. Right. Right. All right. But till then, we gotta go hard, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. We in the last end. Yep. Hey, that, we had the last quarter of the game. You yeah. gotta, you gotta go crazy, man. Go hard. You gotta go crazy. Go hard. All right. Thirty seconds left. Fourth right. quarter. Fourth mm -hmm. quarter. Down by one. <laughs> you gonna right. pass or you gonna shoot it? Yeah. Right. What you gonna do? Right. He's either he gonna be a playmaker or you gonna fold. Or right. sit in the corner. Right. Uh, was right I was gonna say y'all should have said I must work the works before, before you know, before the time comes. The night comes where no man's gonna be able to put in that work, man. Right. So then we gotta put in that work now. Hey, the scripture say how uh, we, we have to seek the Lord while He may be found, man. Call you upon Him while He is near, yeah. man. Because there's gonna come a time where Yahweh Shemeshai hides His face and He's gonna remove His men off the highways and byways. And that's why the word is so precious, man. You know, that's why we gotta do what we gotta do now because when that time comes, the ministry's gonna change completely, man. Uh, right. <laughs> it tells you in it, uh, Ezekiel 3, verse 26, how the Lord is gonna make the tongue, roof, tongue, the tongue, tongue to cleave to the roof of the oh, mouth, oh, man. Oh, 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 Right. Back in the brother right here, man. Brother Adam Wong. This is Amos, the 8th chapter. Verse 11 reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. That's what's gonna happen, man. When the Lord takes his spirit off these hollows and hedges, man, people are gonna be going mad out here, man. Trying to find the truth, man. Trying to find these breakdowns. Trying to go on YouTube and find the breakdown. They're not gonna find nothing, man. Because that family at work gonna come, man. The tongues are probably gonna cleave to the roof of their mouth, man. Come on, brother. Finals, finals. I got something right quick. This is a uh, Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth, where moth and rust do it corrupt. And where these break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do it, do it corrupt, and where these do not break through and steal, nor steal. All right, and the reason why I brought this up, so like, let me read 21. But where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That's right. All right, the reason why I brought this up, all right, hey, hey, to, what we doing, man? You know, doing our lessons throughout the week, going out down the highways and byways. Hey, we, we, we put in coins. Uh, well, it's, it's coins being stored in the spiritual bank account, man. Right, spiritual shekels, man. Okay? So, it shows, because guess what? When all hell break loose, you're going to need to go pull out that money. Yeah. If you ain't putting work in, yeah. you can't pull shit out. Mm. Wisdom. Right. Wisdom and knowledge show me the stability of that time. I got to free to back you up. This is Sirach Ecclesiastes 29, starting at verse 11. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. You know, because hey, the scripture say, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Shut up alms in thy storehouses, and it shall deliver thee from all affliction. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. Yeah. So, like the brother said, when all hell breaks loose, that 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 uh, righteous works that the Lord had uh, put the spirit on us to lay up, uh, it's going to defend us in the times of trouble, man. Right. Right? So, going into the parable, he came back and said, Where's the Ooh, devil? Ooh, that's the spirit. Right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, his, the Lord, he gave, okay, five yeah. to him. Two to him, one to him. The five he flipped his, two flipped his, one 
He ain't do stuff. Yeah, he, I was, think he hit his yeah, shit. Yeah, he know. was angry with him. Right. Uh, Lost right. the circle. Why? Because he hit his Lawrence talent. Yeah. Going back to the title of the lesson, yeah. cry loud, spare yeah. not. That's right, man. By you, not, by you sparing to teach, you're hiding your talent, man. That's right. Scripture says it's better to hide your folly than it is to hide wisdom, man. Right. Man. Of the gift that is hoarded up, what profit is in yeah. them both? Yeah. Y'all yeah, should I say you don't put a candle under a bush. Yep, you don't. put the candle on the top so it don't open right. up. That's right. That's right. right. Okay. And one more thing too to back this brother, because I want to add to this brother too, man. All right. When you read Matthew 25, what does it say? All right. Hey. That, that good and faithful servant right. entered into the joy of uh, entered into the joy of that Lord, man. Right. Right. Okay, right. Right. we want to receive that, man. Right. Right. Lord willing, we will, man. That's right. You know. Well, hey, Lord willing, you know this video was edifying, man. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. Shalom, 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 Shalom,